Yeah, unfortunately. Mm, yes. Have you... Go ahead. Si oh. Okay. Since you have seen Babylon mm. 5, obviously, have you seen Deep oh, Space yeah. Nine? Okay. What do you feel about that controversy between the two? There's controversy. Or do you know... Yeah. Um, do tell. There's some... At least with the first few seasons, uh, people will point out similarities between the two uh -huh. shows. And there is some issue in the fact that uh, Straczynski first went to Paramount to pitch his The uh -huh. Babylon 5 show. And they eventually turned him down. Um, however... Uh, they did not return his series Bible <laughs> that basically told how the series would work and he had to do basically fight with lawyers to get his series Bible back from them but there about the time he gets the series Bible back that's when the show stops looking very similar. Huh. I honestly didn't really notice it that much. I mean, what what are some of the points they're making out? Um uh, It's been a while since I looked it up, but There were a few episodes that had similar plot lines. Um, <clears throat> similar, but not right. exact. Um, wow, I'm out of hydrogen, too. Let's see, what else was there? Um, the, the only big thing that I kind of saw that were connections was kind of the arrival of the Defiant and the arrival of the White Star seemed very similar mm. to me. I guess I can see that. But I don't I don't hold true to a lot of the or see a lot of the issues people had with it. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day I mean, yeah, you can always make up something new, but how long before it just sounds completely off the wall and stupid? You're going to eventually run into a point where you can't really think up too much that's not going to sound like something else. Yeah. I mean, it'd be kind of hard to do a um, scripted survival series um, that would be interesting on a planet now that Shaq and his group has done it. I believe Aaron and them, they do mm -hmm. semi-scripted. And we're on a planet not really doing any... I mean, we... The only scripted we had right. was My Arrival. So, but still, there's similarities between all of them. Yeah, and, and there's going to be. Just like the folks who complain about music that's all sounding the same. Well, would you rather it sound similar or have something that isn't able to be listened to because of how, you know, crazy or ugly, it, well, not ugly, um, uh, the tempo and the melody all being completely jacked because they're trying to be just completely unique. Yeah, and different. Different? Yeah. There's only there's only so far you can go with making things unique, right? And still sound good. My uh, honestly, I saw more um, similarities with uh, Eldris Iba's character in the new Star Trek movie and a Narn than. Um, 
anything in Deep Space Nine. Yeah. Although I do find it interesting that there is evidence showing that uh, the Paramount tried to get... Um, oh, I'm drawing a blank on the actor's name. Um, O'Neill in Stargate. Uh, mm -hmm. Richard Dean Anderson to be the captain in... Deep Space really? Nine. Yep, he just... Stargate had really just taken off. Uh, I can't point. see that. <laughs> I really can't. Yeah. yeah, me either, but... My fortress wall is pretty good on one side. Awesome. And now for the next section. Yeah, it's First. Whoa, what? Oh, what? because that was sealed off. Wait, no. How did... We're having air tightness issues. My tower just gassed off on me. Yeah, I know that sounds funny. <laughs> you nasty, nasty tower, you. What happened? The, um... It just, like, all my doors opened up and it gassed off. You know, kind of like the base was hmm. doing a while ago. Ah. Well, I am going to go up, <clears throat> jump up, and heal. Oh. That's no good. At some point, our, uh, our drawbridge controls got knocked off. Lovely. Well, at least we can mm. jump across it. Go in here. Any other animes that are guilty pleasures for you? <laughs> Care to discuss? Uh, I'll have to uh, step into my lecherous side, but yes. I'm sorry? Did I break up, or you just didn't hear it? I didn't hear it. Okay. I would have to walk on my lecherous side to uh, discuss ah. it. Hmm. And when I say lecherous, I'm not talking about porn or nothing, but... Yeah. Oh. My inner lech would be... Uh, Coming uh. out here, <laughs> and this would also be the same anime universe that I would choose to live in, considering all the rest I would probably die in relatively quickly. Oh, dear! Considering the fact that, uh, okay, I, I have a v anime that is fairly lecherous that is a a guilty pleasure for me. Mm -hmm. and I mean extremely so um, that I actually 
I saw a couple episodes of and realized it was hilarious once you got past all the f- excessive fan service in it. Mm-hmm. Um, mostly because they do... Uh, I mean, they take the the fan service and run with it, and it's practically a joke in the series. Nice. Uh, High School DXD. Yeah, I've heard of that one. It is, I mean, it is practically porn. Yeah. Um, (laughs) The one I was going to mention and talk about, um, I can't say it's any worse than that is, from what I've heard, because I've never watched, uh, what'd you say it was? High School, High School? DXD. Yeah. High School DXD. Um, but it's it's just as bad. <laughs> and that would be, I don't even ask me to pronounce the damn Japanese title, but Everyday Monster Girl is where I would have to throw oh, out my, yeah, throw no. out my mark on it. <laughs> The opening sequence for that is... Yeah. Um... I I was actually kind of surprised to come across High School DxD in the part of the country I'm in for sale at a Hastings. It really surprised me. Yeah. Um, outside of going to Best Buy, I don't have a lot of op- buying them online somewhere. Uh, well, I recently bought two, no, three animes uh, from Christmas Cash. Mm hmm. Um,. One is um, uh, the complete run of um, I, my mind's run away. Um, Black Lagoon. Yeah. Because I've been told it's a good anime and I wanted to watch it. Um, let's see what else was there. Uh, the shape ain't working. Oh, the shape of your... Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Spice and Wolf is another one that I grabbed. The complete I of that. love Spice and Wolf. I want to find... I want to, I want to go ahead and bite the bullet and get the light novels and finish it because two seasons ain't enough. Let's see. Uh, what else did I... Have a, and uh, I grabbed the third season of High School DxD. I have a friend that uh, the uh, uh, insurance uh, kind of screwed over. Uh huh. And, like, uh, at one point, um, her insurance company wouldn't cover her, um, wouldn't cover the doctors that she had, so she couldn't, um, get a refill on antidepressants, and going cold turkey on antidepressants is bad. Yes, it is. And... I showed, uh, I went and visit, visited her and showed her the uh, high school DxD series, and it. Sh- I was like, "You're not gonna like this initially, but trust me, it is hilarious." And she ended up trusting me, and it was hilarious. So. Okay, so here's a good one for you, since we're talking about. Uh where we would like to, uh, well, where I was talking about where I'd like to live and unfortunately would end up dying if I was in most other ones. Uh, 
you were guaranteed not to die. Mm -hmm. No matter how it ended up, you were guaranteed not to die in the world of your choosing. What would you do? Where would you choose? Mm -hmm. With anime, uh... Well, I love the concept of gate, so probably that. I haven't seen that one. It's good. It's good. Thanks, that tells me a lot about it. <laughs> it's it's really good. I, I it, It's hard to say much more than... Without ruining it? Yeah. I mean, other than the fact that it's... Summarize, you have a nether dimension mm -hmm. that has a gate in it that randomly, every, like, few hundred years picks another dimension and opens it up and people uh, knowing this the ruling country decides to invade it just ha so happens that the gate opens up in modern day uh, Tokyo so in response the Japanese self-defense force goes in and attacks well, this is the major. This is kind of like Lord of the Rings fantasy world. So you you only have a handful of people that are uber powerful wizards, and everybody else is just relatively skilled or not so skilled with a sword. So. Uh, everybody, uh, the Japanese self-defense force shows up with tanks and Humvees with tow missiles and assault rifles and all sorts of modern goodies. And this, and it's a small group, maybe three or four hundred people, and this medieval army with knights on horseback with lances and things like that try to charge them off of their uh, encampment area in the first episode. <clears throat> and y y you can tell how bad that goes. Yeah. So yeah. they 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 establish themselves as a, a regional power fairly quickly. And as the series progresses, they bring aircraft in, and eventually they end up fighting dragons and things like that with modern tech. It's awesome. And speaking of that concept, I actually got around to watching um, Familiar Zero, or Zero Familiar. Yeah. Whatever it was. Yeah. It was okay. She is annoying, isn't she? She's very annoying, and I don't see any redeeming qualities, and I would slap that poor boy right across the face and make him chase after that maid. Siesta. <laughs> like, but uh, I'd grab him. What's the matter with you, boy? <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. I, I do feel Already? feel sorry for him. I don't. I don't. He's asking for it. He's going right after it. He's a glutton for punishment. Well, I what I meant feel sorry for him is that the fact that he got drugged there. Oh, well, yeah. The, yeah. I'll give him uh, that. He didn't ask to show up. He just kind of... Congratulations. Here's your punishment. Hi, welcome to a world of magic. Where a world is about to go into a freaking war. Mm -hmm. Overall, I think that I felt that they could probably have done a lot more with that. Yeah. But, oh well. No, I I agree. I agree completely. I, do, I didn't do that there because I 
You know, I think after this tower is done and we get that wall completed, I think we might want to start thinking about the, uh, the first escape ship and getting out of here. Yeah. Or at least, you know, getting into space again. Because that's pretty much going to be wrapping it up for this planet. Mm-hmm. Oh, I agree. We'll have a our base here. But yeah, I'm going to check this wall out. This will work. And he said this is where your next um, Wimmer Tower is going to be? Mm-hmm. Cool. This is, you know, on uh, medieval fortresses, you'd have the, an area that stuck out pretty far. Um, for things to shoot down on. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of my idea on this, is trying to make this corner stick out pretty good so it can get good coverage on the outside of the wall. I dig it. A strange sound glitch. When I when I let off my jetpack and I hit the ground, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Every time, it's like I'm placing a block or welding one up. Well, well, not that time. Oh well, not equip. So many tiny little glitches. <laughs> Gotta love it. Hi, latency! Yay! I'm kind of torn about something doing something right at this corner. Mm -hmm. Kind of turning it into kind of an outpost that you could operate out of if you wanted, like a, a forward observation area. Well, I certainly wouldn't be opposed to that. Right. If that's the case... So what was your entryway into the world of anime? That you can remember, anyway, because... Obviously, sometimes there are a few of them that we watched and didn't know what they were. Uh, there were two that were on uh, Adult Swim mm -hmm. that when I was watching. And this is kind of era of the first run of Cowboy Bebop as well. Right. Uh, so I would catch occasional Cowboy Bebop. Um but Case Closed was the one I really enjoyed. That's one, um... Like a little boy, wasn't he? Or something? Yeah, or he... Or was not actually a little boy. It was, like, turned into one, maybe, or something like that. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he was, he was turned into one because, yeah. by bad guys. Production. Let's build some interior plates while I'm over here. As well. I don't remember if it was on Toonami or not. But I think one of the first anime I watched, and of course at the time I did not know what it was, it was just a cool cartoon I caught on late at night one night, it was uh, Vampire Hunter D. It was one of the very first ones that I've actually got around to watching. Um, and that was kind of my introduction to cartoons outside of the U.S. Let's see. Um, well, I, I'm kind of torn opinion-wise. Mm -hmm. What makes a cartoon an anime? Is it just where it was 
created? As yeah, as far as I'm concerned, it's just where it was created. They're all cartoons, but anime is just cartoons specifically made in Japan. Okay, then... That's still a fairly loose definition. Sure, but what more is there? It's an animation. That's, that's what anime is. Animation. And that's what cartoons are. An animation. Their, um, what is it? Their, uh, their context and their general audience. Oops, put that on backwards. Um, you know, whatever. I mean, there's anime for kids. There's anime for adults. There's cartoons for kids. There's cartoons for adults. It's, it's all relative. It's just where it was made. How's it? Okay. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. All right. Um. Do me a favor, then. Okay. Look up a, a show called Walk Food. Um, I've heard of Walk Food. That is this strange thing. It's Walk Food was made in like a Flash program, wasn't it? Um, there's or something a of that there 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 is a game called Walk Food as well, but um, it's actually it. It's kind of a cell shaded, mm -hmm. but it has a lot of anime influence. Okay. And it's made out of France. Okay. Um, this same ar argument could be said of Avatar. A lot of anime influences, but it is a stateside cartoon. Okay. And there's an argument on whether it should be called anime or not, and I would side on no, because the word anime is in itself a Japanese thing. That'd be me calling a uh, uh, a German cartoon anime. And technically it is, because anime is animation. You know, I mean, that's like calling spaghetti Italian. And it's not. Well, spaghetti here in the States. It's not. You know, cool. spaghetti and meat sauce. Yeah. Or okay. bolognese. Go Next. order that in Italy and see what happens. <laughs> Next question. Yes, sir. Then. Since. Wh what would you consider a cartoon that was animated in Japan, mm -hmm. but commissioned by a studio in the U.S.? Hmm, and something just off gas again. Yep, our station is off gas again. <laughs> yeah, did it again. That's funny. Um, uh, and again, why is it doing that? Um, I believe I'd probably still call it anime because of where it was created. Because okay. again, it's it's a label and you choose on an individual level what you do with that label um, I wouldn't argue if someone from Japan came up and tell me and said no that's not anime I would say okay done All right. but if if someone if a studio here in America uh, commissioned a cartoon from Japan I would probably still call it anime on the account that it was created by people in Japan that's about it. 